Typically in After Effects, when you select an effect, you first have to select the layer. So for example, if I want to select this background layer, um, and then you have to select the effect to use it, because if you just start clicking and dragging, you're going to move the layer. So if I wanted to paint on the background layer, select the background layer, that's the first click, select paint and stick, that's the second, and then I can just start drawing whatever. In this example, I'll draw a really poorly drawn tree. But the time it takes to do those two clicks actually kind of adds up. So we have this tool here, the uh, paint and stick selector. Let me just delete that for a second. It should install right when you install paint and stick. So go to window and then it's down here. And then you can just dock it off to the side. You press the refresh button, which is going to show all the layers that have paint and stick on them off on the side. Now this right now, it's uh, you know it's showing four layers and we got four layers down here. So it doesn't seem like a big organizational deal, but if you have, say, a dozen layers or more, this can be kind of handy to just keep the layers that you're constantly going back and forth to and drawing on um, somewhere where they're easy to get at. So let's say that I want to draw on this uh, zap effect. I can just click this, and then I can start drawing. And if I want to draw on the background again, I can just click this layer, and I can start uh, drawing in the sun or something. So it's a simple script, but it should save you quite a bit of time. 